Fire Emblem Free Houses. Alright, Satef, so where was he? Uh, of course. Drink the time for freedom to spot. There's nothing even there to indicate this! Alright, fine. Whatever. When she was pregnant with you. Wow. She died right after you were born. Oh, of course. She wasn't able to spend much time with you. <laughs> this reminds me of another situation in another game. Hmm. Mercedes. Her face looks familiar. Okay, are you two connected to each other or are you not? You guys are confusing me. Would actually enjoy being in your class quite a lot. Yes! This was a successful interaction, I must say. Please provide me with all the most challenging assignments. I want to be well equipped for the future. Holy crap, I finally recruited someone! <laughs> and it only took it out this specific episode! <laughs> And now, back to teaching the Black Eagles. Hey everybody, the Great Pikmin 6, 7, 9, you and man do I have a lot of support to go for you. So, last time we... We got our mists in, and... Prepared... For the upcoming battle. But this time there's a lot of support to go over, so we're gonna do that. Sometimes I wonder if your life could have taken you down a different path. If you had never met me and entered my service, you might have had a more peaceful... A more tedious path. Inconsequential and spoiled rotten, like so many other nobles. Never. My duty to you is no mere obligation. I chose this. I see. I had thought that would be obvious to you. I understand you well. Better than anyone. But when I see you at the monastery, studying with the others, it makes me wonder what kind of life you might have had without me. That's all. Hmm. Such a life may have had its appeal. I guess. I thought I'd left my years of carefree innocence behind me. But I cannot deny that I find myself enjoying my time at the monastery. I see. I feel the same way. That enjoyment, however, is only thanks to you. Standing by your side is all that truly matters to me. I see. Killing guy. Then I won't speak of such things again. If it's really what you want, I'll gladly keep you by my side. The path I must walk is soaked in blood. Is it? It's a path that can lead to madness, can snatch away one's future, and can even take one's life. And the pool of blood at my feet is growing larger. Those stains can never be washed clean. Please leave the violence to me. A leader must be seen as pure, above the fray. Allow me to paint the path that lies before you, red with the blood of your enemies. I will do it gladly. Support level C. Spore has three. Holy moly. I'm not finished with you. I am Caspar. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Hubert? You need something? I watched your training earlier. Pitiful display. <laughs> uh, excuse me? What's that supposed to mean? You yell before every move. I know. I do it on purpose. It's how I get fired up. Is that a problem for you? You scared? Stupid habit. If you value your life, you'll break it. What are you talking about? It sounds like you might have a problem with me. It sounds like he does. Matter of fact, I do. Oh, huh, never mind. If it was only your own idiotic life at stake, I wouldn't bother saying anything. But it's not. Your foolishness hurts everyone. Ooh, you sure do love to hear yourself talk. Suppose you were to shout on the battlefield as you did in your training today. It is very likely the enemy could anticipate your next move based on your insipid blather. And what if your allies are startled by your outburst and fumble with their weapons as a result? This is not to mention the obvious fact that you would utterly botch any covert operation. Yep. You really think I'm that stupid? I only shout when it's completely necessary. I don't do it all the time. Whatever habits you develop in training, you will reproduce on the battlefield. Combat is tense and frantic. Yep. 
You will default to your training whether you mean to or not. Hey, why don't you just shut up about it? I can control myself. <laughs> Support of a C. Benedetta, part one. Being outside is so tiring. Tomorrow's gotta be just an inside day, Bernie. Whoa, why is it so cold all of a sudden? It's as if an unspeakable evil just. You're late. No, into the light! Back to the beyond from whence you came! Are you telling me to die? Th th Hubert! <laughs> In the flesh. In the flesh. I came to ask you something. Oh no! What did I do? Think, Bernie, think! There have been sightings of a sinister figure carrying a sharp object, wandering the halls at night. Guys, haven't we discussed this like earlier? <laughs> A strange giggle, the glimmer of a needle in the dark, the sound of a door creaking open and closed. I... I was embroidering. I suspected as much. Then you leave me no choice. What? Noni? No, I'm too young to die! I've got so much left to do, please don't! I don't think you'd get away with murder in such a place. About what I expected. That was quite a sprint. A shame you lack stamina. <laughs> now to my duty. You're going to execute me, aren't you? No, he's not! Let me compose my last will and testament. Or at least a swan song. The creak of a door. Sorrow like a needle point. Bernie's gone away. Bernadetta, a word of caution. How would you feel if you fell or bumped into someone while carrying around that needle? Please watch where you're going in the future. <laughs> How did you manage to faint while standing up? <laughs> yeah, that's quite a surprise! I cannot simply leave her here. <laughs> okay, that was the thing. That was definitely a thing. <sighs> Completely unreasonable. How will I see to this? Hubie, what are you doing here? A routine matter. No cause for concern. Ah, so it's something to do with Aidy then. And? She really is all you ever think about, isn't she? Look, I know you're doing all this so that she'll like you, but if you go too far, she'll end up pushing you away. Maybe even hate you. This has nothing to do with swaying Lady Edelgard's sentiments. I am simply her humble servant. I do what is in her best interest. Whether she cares for me or not is irrelevant. It really doesn't look that way to me. I bet you'd follow any order Aidy gave if you thought it would make her like you. Am I right? Any order? <laughs> what a thing to suggest. But the answer is no. I will decline any directive that I deem would not be beneficial to her. Is that right? So, just for example, if Aidy commanded you to find yourself a suitable wife, would you do it? If it would benefit her in some way for me to marry, then yes, I would marry. Mm, it's easy to say that now, with no bridal party in sight. But if it was the day of the wedding? Nah, I don't believe that. I don't care what you believe. My only wish is to see Lady Edelgard fulfill her ambitions. All other matters pale in comparison. Wow. Hubie, pale in comparison? You've seen too many operas. I don't think you understand how the world works. At all. And I don't care what you think, either. I would make any sacrifice to support Lady Edelgard. It's a shame you've never experienced such devotion. You're right. I don't have anyone like that right now. But... Maybe someday I will? Then maybe someday you'll understand. Until then, we will never see eye to eye. Now, if you will excuse me, I have much to do. Hubie, I don't get you. Although I do find your point of view just 
fascinating. This is a lot of talking for just a few before the day we actually go and then it's months. You know, nothing I'm surprised. Just look at this place. It's so beautiful, I believe I should take a nap and enjoy it properly. Linhart. Lost in thought, I see. Unacceptable. All alone. Are you not aware that a noble's duty is to be ever vigilant? Rest increases alertness. Is there something I can do for you, Ferdinand? Well, I was just passing by, and I thought I could give you a little advice. You always seem to be napping. Why not spend your free time doing something productive? Easier said than done, Ferdinand. I'm afraid I suffer from a constitution that tires easily. Hmm. <laughs> Some training will remedy that. Let us work on that today. I will train you myself. Arise, Linhart. The righteous path of the noble lies before you. You're always giving it your all, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I am. Is there something wrong with that? Of course not. In fact, I rather enjoy your demeanor. You go all out even when others wish you wouldn't. You work hard, inspire the admiration of others, and your dignity as a noble is beyond reproach. I consider it my mission to serve as a guide and a model for other members of the nobility. As capable as you are striking, next to you, I am a mere infant. Oh, you are far too kind. Although I do work hard each day to achieve all of which you speak. You've mastered all the important noble skills. You drink tea, talk about how great you are, ride horses. Indeed. I went for a ride earlier today. Is that so? You'll have to tell me about it sometime when I'm not walking away. <laughs> hmm? Where are you going? Yeet. Oh, I must get some sleep, being the infant that I am. Farewell for now, Ferdinand. Oh, noble among nobles. <laughs> noble among nobles? Seems a bit much. Did he say get some sleep? Hey, wait! <laughs> get back here! Sheepers. Petra, would you pause a moment? Yes? Are you wanting something? I was observing your spear work, and I wonder if you don't think your transitions are sloppy. The way you move your arm before a strong thrust hinders your movement and slows your spear on its way back. It leaves a rather large opening. Which arm? My left or right? I think the right. No, actually it's both. It's something about the way you move your elbows. I- Demonstrate? Ah. No, I'd hate to get sweat all over my butt. I am not understanding. Can you show me, please? Demonstrate? No, I'd hate to get sweat all over my book. But I must correct this. Please. Or are you unable to do, and you can only teach? I am more of a theorist than a practitioner. I advise and you implement. Very simple. Then... Please advise again. It's all quite simple. Sometimes you make a big stab downwards, right? Before that, you lift up. At that point, you sort of let the tension go and stop. It ruins the momentum of the stab. How can I be lifting up with no... no unnecessary moving? It's the arm movement that's extraneous. Calculate the locus of the spear and the elasticity of the muscles. Locus? Elasticity? Can you not just be showing me? Please. If you are showing me, I will learn it with quickness. I won't waste your time with such demonstrations. You're a smart one, Petra. You'll sort it out. Besides, I need to go now. I have a prior appointment to keep. Bye. Linhart only likes talking. It is on myself to prevail. Okay, last one. Thank goodness. Caspar, just who I was hoping to see. I have a tiny little request if you have time to help me. I'm always happy to help. What can I do for you? That is exactly what I was hoping to hear. Would you mind coming along to my room? Your room? Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. This uh, isn't what I uh, had in mind. <laughs> Uh. Come on, a big strong guy like you, this is easy. 
Lift up the cabinet, please. I need to dust behind it. There's still more to do. Why do you care so much about keeping this place clean? It's just a dorm room. Were you raised in a stable? Leaving this place a mess wouldn't be fair to the next person who uses it. In fact, I think once we're done with this room, we should clean up your room as well. Wow, oof. Yeah, I don't think so. I have some actual training to do. Oh, come to think of it, I have a date myself. The fella I'm seeing has quite a charming face, rich family, and I assume a tolerable personality. Don't you get tired of spending time with all these guys who have tolerable personalities? Oh, it gets tedious at times. You must listen to them talk, for one thing. But it's important for my future. That's how I see my training. I guess it's pretty much the same thing. I do I. Don't know if that's a comparison you really want to make. I guess. Why not? Seems about right to me. Sure, I'm a noble, but I'm also a second son. I don't have anything coming to me. Why do you think I'm always training so much? I need to prove myself on the battlefield if I plan on making it anywhere in this world. I know you don't have noble status or wealth, so you're putting in the effort to marry wealth, right? See? Pretty much the same thing. I suppose. It would be nice if everyone saw it that way. <laughs> yep. Well then, Kaspar, I need to get ready for my date. Shall we both agree to work hard for our futures? Absolutely. I just hope our efforts are worth it. Oh, they will. Hopefully. If everything goes according to plan. Right, on to the mission. A group of thieves led uh, by this own house, house courtier has stolen a hero's relic and begun to want to mark. Seeking a new trust, the registered to send my house to the Settled the map. Saturday Batula. This weather is unfortunate. Those villagers were right when they said a storm was brewing. Oof. But they were more afraid of an attack than they were of the storm. Let's end this quickly. Right. The thieves have taken Conan Tower as their base. There it is in the distance. Miklon must be more skilled than your average thief to have overtaken a place like that. Yeah, it must be. This area was the site of a massive battle several hundred years ago, when invasions from the north were at their peak. This tower was built for both surveillance and defense. It would be difficult to seize it. You know your history, Gilbert. If I recall correctly, you're from the kingdom, aren't you? I left my home long ago. If you have any questions about the mission, I'd be happy to answer them. Let's see. What do you know about House Gautier? House Gautier has always Gautier. placed great importance Pardon on me. whether or not someone bears a crest. Margrave Gautier has two sons. A crest never manifested for his eldest. It's not hard to imagine why he left and wound up in this sort of life. There's no reason that Crest should have the power to dictate someone's destiny. Yeah, it shouldn't. Don't you agree, Gilbert? He was just another victim of cruel fate. Forsaken by the goddess, who now demands his execution. Yep, that is an armored unit. That's not an armored unit, I think. That is definitely an armored unit. Okay, so there's only one chest. Alright. Okay, let's... Let's give the people who's, who's capable of using access to masons. Right. 
And now everybody has battalions. So that's nice. Defeat the enemy commander. All of you units fall in battle. The enemy is close by. We're almost to the top floor. They have nowhere left to flee, so the situation is in our favor. All we have to do is chase them down. Right. He stands still, right? Yeah, he does. <laughs> Why do all these bosses seem to stand still? Feels Stay weird. Focused. I wonder if I can hit this guy from afar. Oh, so I did. Cool. Enemy phase. Wow, okay, only one enemy moved. Okay. Great move, guys. Great move. Totally great. We're aiming. We're we'll fight again. Hello, boom. A level up. -a. It's a long road yet. And turn. Captain's in trouble. Hurry up, you fools! Enemies approach from the lower floors. Watch the rear flank. All right. Boom. You're dead. You worked hard for nothing. I'm gonna have a grip on the sword. Grip on the sword. Focus on the sword so he can raise it. I can speak well. I'm gonna trade the key to you. They're not gonna do anything to him. He'll be fine. I'm just gonna put my faith in him. Thought you would win. Yeah, see, he's fine. I'm no stranger to battle. Did he fall behind us? Your defeat was inevitable. Dun, dun, dun. One step at a time. Yep. Who am I missing? Oh, you. <laughs> Your black clothes blended, blended in with the background. Almost layer. You know, Endergon could have that. So I'm gonna waste a few attempts just to make sure he gets up, he gets back, but you know, whatever works. This guy's got the wheel pretty secure. He'll be fine. Makes me wonder if he's gonna fa fully catch up in time. I mean, chances are he will, but you know, whatever. And now for a complicated trade system. See, told you it was complicated. <laughs> but hey, it works out. And he's finally catching up to us. For well to us. However, it is free for and it's like a freaking traditional Fire Emblem game. <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna have to be unique. No more coming from the weird? Not only two waves would be enough, would be like not enough, but you know, whatever. If it's not enough, then whatever. This guy is armored, right? Yeah, he's armored. I almost wanted to give the always flare to me. But I'll, just, I'll see what the sort of creator does to him first before I make my mind. Hi. Here we go. Attack them from both sides. It's an ambush. It's a trap. That one really planned out, though. You're dead. I get ahead of myself. You 
Whoa, that's a full gamut boost right there. And he's dead. You were wide open. Wow. That was a very good gambit boost. Growth is that was a very good. Hello. <laughs> Hiya. What level higher than you, Sucus? Another step forward. I really need to stop being in the center of attention. I need to use swords. Hi, this morn. Level up. Greatness awaits me. C plus. Saddle slash. Stanley level up. Alright. You simply take care of that. And you get a level up. I think I'm improving. I think you are. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Yeah, you still have magic. You should use it. We'll work together. Oh, gamut boost! I have an idea. Yeah, this will do. Flame spirit. Free level up for you. You want to go over here? Here for baby boy. Man, look at all those forces. Gonna hear you from here. That's like psychic. Battalion level up. I'm gonna hear you first. Actually, I will hear you first. I will prevail. And then you can use the honest layer. Your defeat was inevitable. Although to be fair, she could have just done that after getting sued, but fine. It's a long... D plus. My effort. That goes your wing. Twenty lands. Not that she needed it. I've got many skills. Here. Level up. Anyway, good, very good. Wow, all of the defenses seem very bad, and they're not good in the slightest. Hi. Hi. Okay, he's got a level up. Please don't attack him again. Yeah, that was a terrible decision. Okay, if the enemies can stop moving, thank you. This is my duty. Divine pulse. Okay, at least one's good. At least one. I will get the victory. One's better than nothing. Okay, he's going that way. Okay, a, a better change already. Here are you. You go over here so time. you can attack this person. The mark of nobility. And if only for your efforts. You, wish. you are dead. Skill level up, E plus. Oh. the enemy. Okay, still have one more. What? Yeah, it's two more actually, never mind. I've gonna add more. Oh, yeah. Mike, it does attack me. Noise. Hardly worth my time. At least it's less worrying, I guess. Because of heal. Six, da six damage. It all comes down to this. Nineteen. Thankfully, missed. Do it. Moody. Yeah. 
He's been moited. Of course I won. C plus. Nice. I'll go down so easily. Level up. Not Well, it's where you it's where you got anyways, okay? Thank you for being our protector, I guess. Also get to sand myself. Plus the lance. Great. For the goddess. All we need to do is move on. That's pretty much all the enemies gone. Well, for now, there may be more in it. Hiding. You never know. Okay, can you stop moving so much? Jeez. I think someone was just here. They still move a lot. I'll just keep this guy completely guarded, I guess. Might as well make this battalion move very slowly as possible. I take as many times as possible. Experience obtained. See one gambit use. Not that it matters, because uh, see you lost a gambit. It's also a battalion. So, you think you can take the lance from me? I'll kill you. I'll kill every last one of you. Watch him, miss. <laughs> Go. It is done. <clears throat> Not bad for your kind. A bunch of spoiled, rotten children. Uh. <clears throat> what? What's happening to them? What is... In the world? What? That form. Solstice? Oh my. Is this your first time fighting such a thing? Then listen well to what I say. All right. has caused them to grow quite large. Their life force is beyond a mortal like yourself. What? You cannot win unless you fell them twice. Or even thrice. Excuse me? Even if you've cornered one, you cannot let your guard down. Those things are even worse when threatened. Can you see that barrier? It is surrounded by great power. You must break through to fight that thing. A strong attack or gambit might help to break through more quickly. Effective against the dragons? If you can break the barrier, that power will have nowhere else to go, and that will likely cause confusion for that thing. 
It cannot counter while confused, which means that is the best time to attack. Right. If you break down all of their barriers, not only will they be confused, they will not be able to move for a short while. Without the power flowing around them, they will not be able to restore their barriers. You might even be able to get something from them. Let's see. They have such might that they will not fear you alone. But a battalion could prove useful on that front. Attack them with a gambit to draw their attention and force them to target you. I see. Be on your guard when they have realized their full power. The damage caused at times like that is not contained to just one spot. Oh! Once they have charged some power up, their barriers will be restored. You really must pay close attention to those things. Distract them with a gambit, or just take them down before they can attack. In any case, think carefully before you act. Got it. <laughs> By the way, how'd you go on this anyway? Well, you should be conquering that thing instead of talking to me. If you're out of questions, get over there and fight! Such is the fate of one whose life is corrupted by a crest stone. How pitiable. What? The least we can do is put an end to his suffering. So we need no Bakwang options. Got this huge attack range. Jeebus. Okay. Can't do anything about battalions though, so I guess I have to do something. I'm just gonna do type two damage to this guy. Actually, don't do anything, just stand in. I'm gonna. Oh, I guess it was a kind. I guess it was a good thing I. Stopped right there. Holy crap, I did not expect this to happen! Oh, it's going to flames, so it's okay. Dodged the second time. Eleven. Really taking damage. Gotta hear you. Really have to I can't get close to you. Oh god, what is your camera do? Move an enhancing, okay. Nothing helpful. Bold strategy. Damn it, boost! Do something. Damn it, boost! Now's our chance. It's confused. Failed once. Cuba gains the level. Damn it, boost! If not, something gonna do like six damage. Level up. Black Beast almost woken. Nice. Go out. Ooh. Whoa. 
Oh! Pacifia! Holy crap! That one percent, that plus one luck really came through! Final one! Go! Level up! Go! Finish it! Holy moly! Goddess, the beast is gone, yet Miklon and the Lance remain. It is done. Let's retrieve the Lance and depart at once. Holy crap. And we got his motivations maxed out. Okay. And to must be why I don't know. Holy moly. That was a thing. That man. His form was changed. It was as though that lance was swallowing him whole. Yeah. Upon that side, it makes sense that your students were upset. Yeah. I wonder if those relics truly hide such power. Yet even still, that power seems familiar. That form as well. What do you mean? As one who wields the sword of the creator, does that mean you possess that power too? I don't know. I don't want to find yes, out. Sir. You have returned. The goddess is indeed generous with her divine protection. I have already heard Gilbert's report about what happened. See to it that you keep what transpired at the tower to yourself. I'm pretty much not going to say it to anyone anyways. People would lose faith in the nobles should rumors spread of one using a relic and transforming into a monster. All regions of Fodland would fall into chaos. We must avoid that at all costs. Please ensure the students who accompanied you understand that as well. Have I made myself clear? Yes, of course. His transformation into a black beast was nothing short of divine punishment from the goddess. I don't really see that as punishment. Punishment for someone arrogant and foolish enough to use a hero's relic even though they were unworthy and unqualified. You knew? Of course. That is why we rushed to recover it. Sadly, we did not arrive in time. The church will formally return the lance to House Gautier, if you would. You have my gratitude. I can see that I was right to trust you with this. Please report back. I will tell you of your new mission for the coming moon at that time. Right. Uh. I assume the Archbishop was pleased with your performance. Did you return the Lance of Ruin? I returned it. I keep thinking about what Gilbert told us. About Milkman? Yes. Miklon was discarded by his family because he was born without a crest. Eventually, he became a masterful thief and gathered enough ruffians to capture a fortress. Right or wrong, he was a gifted leader. He could have been a great asset to Fodlan. What a waste! It's true that a crest can increase your magical abilities and allow you to wield the full might of a hero's relic. But one cannot measure a leader's worth based solely on whether or not they bear a crest. Yeah. There are plenty of talented people in this world without one. Yeah. I completely agree. People believe crests are blessings from the goddess, that they're necessary to maintain order in Fodlin. But the people are wrong. Crests are to blame for this brutal, irrational world we live in. Their power is granted only to a select few, whom we elevate and allow to rule the world. Have you ever wondered if the only way to create a truly free world is to dispense with the goddess and the crests? Do that, and people will have no choice but to rise and fall by their own merits. Lady Edelgard? 
I question whether you revealed too much to the professor. Perhaps I did. It is true that our teacher possesses a rare talent. Even I cannot deny it. The ability to wield the sword of the creator is concerning. I've already explained this to you. My power alone is insufficient. That's why I'm borrowing power from those people. If our teacher can wield it in my stead, I believe that would be for the best. It's a risk. A dangerous one. You leave me no choice but to take matters into my own hands. Please excuse me. I can't hide from the truth. I can't do all that I must on my own. If all I can rely on is my own ambition, my path won't be easy. Is it so risky to reach out my hand? Adel God. Father, I swear I will not stop until I succeed. My regret, my grief, my whole life, I've thrown it all away into the darkness.